Ahoy, fellas. This is this is gonna suck because I actually did. To I just recorded this, <laughs> and I completely forgot that I should. I don't know. Actually, record things instead of um, just pretending, you know. So uh, this time I have the right screen being recorded. That's cool. And now I actually know exactly what I need to do. So I'm just gonna. Oh my gosh. Sorry, pal, you sneaked up on me. Um, I'm just going to do that, and we're going to have a jolly good time. And nothing will go wrong at all. Alright? Sounds good. So, I was also talking about how... Um, oh, you know what? Actually, I still want, I still want this answered. If anybody knows how to like permanently delete Microsoft Edge from a Microsoft laptop like Windows 10, it would be greatly appreciated. Because I hate Microsoft Edge. I don't need another browser. I want it off my computer. Somebody please tell me how the heck to get rid of this thing. So, yeah, there's that. That's what I, one of the things I was talking about. And then secondly, um, hey, new school year, um, sort of. New semester. Not It's the same school year, I guess, for a lot of people, but I don't know how many of you have my viewers are less than 18. Do not tell me <laughs> but you know so you know what that means new classes at least for me maybe same classes for those of you that are less than 18 but I don't care so yeah um, I have one class though that's engineering ethics which is nice it's a cool class I like it um, and I get to you know do cool stuff, sort of, I think. I've only had like two classes in it so far, so it's not really a, a solid stance that I have uh, really any basis for, but that doesn't matter. So, for now, let's just listen to Cash and I'll come back. I figured you'd be here about oh, now. did you now? The deal with the plant? Um, they're plants. Let me guess. Poison ivy. Oh, yes, she did. All that matters. I gotta, I gotta take it. You know. There's always a but, isn't there? <laughs> yes, Where we do, do all have one, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get into Croc's stuff. I have to fight another big bad. We can't just fight one of the, like, geriatric Batman villains. No, we have to fight all of the big ones. Yeesh. Anyways. I think I'll get it without his permission. I got myself a cool little thing known as a cryptographic sequencer, and I don't think you have one. Because my toys are better than yours. Anyways, let's get on it. So, one of the things that we talked about was, like, intuitions, which is an interesting concept. Um, not really in the way that I mentioned it, but, like, just intuitions in general. They're interesting. Uh... And like, oh, how they can be wrong and all that jazz. Just in case anybody had never had a point in which they doubted something that they thought they knew, you know, um, or they figured was obvious, things of that nature. So that has been going. It's been interesting. One of the things that was mentioned though is that there are cases in which people will act in ways that are completely contrary to intuition. There was some uh, experiment done where it involved like submerging your hand in painfully cold water and people would choose um, to put, undergo like quantitatively more pain for seemingly no reason. Um, you know, there's a weird th little thing that they figured in that the uh, people will choose to undergo more pain sometimes, which is not an intuitive response. It's not what you would think a person would do. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to stand right here while this spore comes after me, or maybe doesn't. And, uh, boink! Haha, <laughs> go sick yourself. Boink. I am an old man. Ain't you never seen Batman Beyond? I'm going to throw him at that guy. So, one of the things that came up, though, 
was um, how masochists like pain. So actually, some of the people might just be masochists, and that that would be a perfectly reasonable explanation for why they would purposefully undergo more pain. Um, and the professor <laughs> mentioned that uh, an interesting thing about masochists is that pain kind of connotes that you don't like it, and therefore one of the, uh, according to the professor, one of the sort of prerequisites for pain is that it is discomforting. You know? So, I suppose one thing that I had been thinking about is that you could argue that, well, the way that the body deals with pain and the way that people process the way that the body deals with pain can be two different things, in that um, you still feel pain as a sensation, in like a discomfort sensation, but you may take the discomfort and derive pleasure from being in discomforting situations. I, for one, love awkward situations, so I know exactly what this is like. Um, <laughs> but it, it's like, um, I think that's generally the idea with masochists, is that they enjoy being in discomfort. In, in discomfort. It's not that it isn't discomfort so much as the discomfort is enjoyable, which is contradictory, sure, but not like completely outside the bounds of what a human could think, you know. So, oh boy, that doesn't sound good. Anyways, um, but you know, I don't know. I'm not a masochist. Uh, quite the opposite, but um, Ivy's plants are taking hold. You know, I've got to stop. Uh, if you if you're a masochist, uh, you know, for research purposes, pop your deets in the uh, comment section below and. Uh, yeah, I, I, I might get back to you, and uh, it's just for the sake of research purposes, of course. And uh, also for the sake of research, you know, it might it might be good to, like, uh, just give give me a list of you know things that uh, things that you enjoy that are painful, and th uh, maybe maybe things that you don't like so much, and, and uh, for, you know, for the sake of like a control group, maybe, um, just generally things that you would never do, let's say. Um, like, uh, you know, just completely stuff you wouldn't do. Just complete, uh, you know, so just so I understand, um, you know, the tendencies of masochists. This is a completely important thing to know. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is where the episode ended in the original recording, and I think I'm maybe only halfway through right now. Because I was really speedrunning getting here, and also explaining masochists. Which I don't think I really needed to do, honestly. I, I, uh, probably just didn't have to do that at all. Whatever. Let's, uh, let's go a bit further, why not? And then I can pop back to my original save file and go as far as I did because that's fun oh right, boy planted the explosives, planted the explosives? no not the too bad oh no not my perch points that's no good because Oh my gosh, seven armed hostiles. That's not great. Sure they will, pal. You know what? I'm just going to very quickly... Oh wait, I can't do that. I keep forgetting that the game like crashes if I try and check anything other than the game. So, you know, this might actually be the end of the episode. <laughs> um, you know what? I'll see what I can do about taking all these fellas out. Now let's say hypothetically that it uh, didn't um, didn't really go very well. I said, <sighs> yeah. Let's just uh, act like that didn't happen. Till next time, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm gonna beat you half to death. Goodbye.
Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny. Bye bye.